Hey guys, so this is going to be um, a very short, what I always like to say, hey guys, this is going to be, I wish I could just, I don't know, talk to you guys a little bit more, but whatever. Anyways, it's going to be a tutorial on how I do my brows. Um, this is not exactly mine. Um, I got this from Makeup by Tiffany D. This is how she does hers, and I figured out that this works oh, very well for me. Like, I used to just give up, and I wouldn't even um, do my brows, but since I saw her video on this, this is how I do mine, and it's very quick and easy, and I like it, so stay tuned. Alright, so I'm going to take um, a little brush like this, and I'm going to just brush my brows downward. both sides, just brush them down, kind of brush them over and then down just to make sure I actually get them down. And I'm going to take my NYC brow powder, it's like, um, mm, browser brush on brow kit and it's in the color of brunette. It has, um, a brow shadow and the wax, which I don't use because I'm not too sure about it, and the eyeshadow gets all in it, and it turns a funny color, because so it's just supposed to be clear. But this is actually a very dark brown, and since I've colored my hair, I've noticed that I need to darken my brows a lot more than I used to. So that's why it's so dark, and I use, this is my eyeliner brush that I have. It's like the two-sided, two-timing eyeliner image essential, essentials, like I was at Walmart, but I'm going to use this longer side. And I'm just going to dip it into the brow powder and tap off any excess. And then I'm going to just follow the top of my brows, starting in the middle. Because you want more color towards the middle than you do over here. You want the least color amount of color over here. And I'm just going to run it along the top of my brows. And then right here on the bottom, I have some sparse areas. So I'm going to go over that. And then down and make my tail just a little bit longer. Then I'm going to really fill in this part right here because um, I don't have a lot of hair that grows here. So I'm just going to really fill that in and I'm just using um, just short little light strokes because you want your strokes to look like real hair, not just color. Okay. And then I'm going to get some more color on my brush. I'm not getting a lot, but I'm not getting a little. Just a good medium amount. I'm going to do the same on this side. You can tell the difference. How much, even like I haven't even brushed them out, just how more defined they are. And again, I'm going to start in the middle of my brow and work along the top. This side always comes out darker. I don't know why, but it does. Make my tail just a little bit longer. Make sure they're about the same. And just fill in the bottom just a little bit where it's more sparse. Then bring some color towards the inner part. And just short light strokes. So you want it to look like your natural hair. And then I take um, another just like little spoolie brush that I've kind of bent a little bit and angled myself. I'm just going to brush all these kind of up and at an angle. And then I'm going to pull my tail down, just to kind of give it a more of an arch effect. So all these are going to go up at an angle, and then down. Same thing to this side. Kind of up at an angle, to the arch of your brow, and then you want to brush your tail down. Up and at an angle, and then brush your um, tail down. Um, I don't actually set my brows with anything. I normally just do this and it's good enough for me. But, um, I'm going to fix this one real quick. Alright, I normally don't even, um, set my brows with anything. I don't really think I need it. But, um, just for the sake of the video that I, I will. And I'm going to use my, um, e.l.f. wet gloss that has a mascara and a brow gel, but it's the same thing. And this side's all dirty because that's what I use on my brows. Just like a little spoolie, like, um, a mascara spoolie. And I'm lightly just going to 
go over my brows, just very, very lightly. Because you don't want them soaking wet. Lightly go over them. Then I'm going to go back with my spoolie or the end of this little brush. And I'm just going to brush my brows again. Just to make sure you don't have any clumps of that brow gel. I don't really like using it. I make it, I think it makes me them look really clumpy. But anyways, that's how I do it. And um, I'm going to zoom out so you guys can see it. Well, um, I hope you guys can really um, see the difference. Like, um, it's not a big deal on camera, but in, like, real life in person, you can really tell the difference, especially with, like, uh, my hair being darker. And it just helps um, frame your face. So even if you don't have dark hair or whatever, um... What was I going to say? Lost the train of thought. Um, it just helps frame your face and helps you look more pulled together. So I hope this helps you guys out and makes it a lot easier on you. And um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.